So here's something entirely different. We're finally breaking away from video games entirely. With today's book, Apocalypse Now Now by Charlie Human. First off, as the title may seem similar, it may be referenced to Apocalypse Now, but it's actually based on African slang, with now now basically meaning right here, right now. From that mention of African slang, as you can guess, the story is set in Cape Town, South Africa, so yeah, something pretty different from what we've been through before. Our main character this time around is Baxter Zevkinko someone who you wouldn't be wrong in calling a complete asshole. Baxter is a rather megalomaniacal 16 year old running his own organization known as The Spider that goes around the schoolyard shoveling out porn and trying to keep a lid on the potential chaos that could unfold from a fast approaching gang war. However, he keeps everything under his control and he's rather happy alongside his girlfriend Esme with his biggest problem being his mentally challenged younger brother and stopping himself from, well, trying to control people. All of a sudden, everything changes when his girlfriend disappears, kidnapped by an apparent serial killer with ties to the mystical underworld. Baxter has to dive in and of course gets wrapped up in a plot to use the power of ancient gods to control the world. Along the way, Baxter ends up teaming up with the with a hunter named Ronan as the pair dive deep into Cape Town's supernatural underworld, then with mysterious monsters and ancient beings along the way. Now I have to admit, Outside of the fact that the main character is an asshole, that seems very typical for this type of fiction. But one thing I have to say about this is that I do love how the book mixes the supernatural with the common world. It's not till the very end of things that things start going batshit insane, and there's also a subplot about batshit occurring dreams of a young African girl living in a time of colonialism and a film history of apparent mental illness that asks the issue of whether everything around him is real or not. Baxter's nerd journey isn't necessarily an easy one being an at one point ordinary kid stuck up in this odd situation, running across creatures who at one point he thought weren't real as well as breaking the rules of his own world. Now the whole story is based in South African mythology and supernatural elements, which is a kind, nice, breath, fresh breath of air if you're kind of sick of the standard elves and dwarves, even though yes, dwarves are still a thing here. There are a number of interesting characters, and the rules of magic in question are interesting. Not necessarily explored that with that much depth, but still interesting. As I said it earlier, Baxter is quite the asshole, not trying to experience that much emotion and always trying to manipulate the situation to his advantage. He spends a lot of the first part of the book just trying to keep the potential chaos going on around his school under some form of control, for no other reason than it'll draw attention to himself and his organization, bring him to the forefront. Now, for how much the first part of the story focuses on this aspect, it's kind of dropped later on, which is kind of understandable with how crazy things start getting in the later parts. For example, spider zombies. Yeah, pre is all I'm saying. But it does eventually come back towards the end, even though it feels like a really quick wrapped up resolution. This however does dissolve the importance of the earlier cast members, which is kind of a shame, but again, priorities. Ronan himself fills the role of mentor figure, leading Baxter further and further down into the realm of the supernatural. Ronan himself is your typical scoundrel type character, hard drinking, always ready with his beloved gun in hand, and a plan for anything that he comes across, even if he has to improvise a lot of the time. Him and Baxter have some pretty funny back and forth moments that I have to admit, I really do love seeing. Overall, this is a fun book with an enjoyable story and an interesting main character with a pretty interesting setting. If you're a big fan of urban fantasy, I highly recommend that you pick this one up.